Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Jonathan here again at Black Barrel Customs. I uh, just wanted to let get in touch with you guys. I know it's been a while since I put up any YouTube videos. I got back into my old work profession of uh, the underground coal mine a bit. And I gotta say, it's been pretty exciting and it feels good to get back into a passion, you know. It's helping take care and provide for me and my family. And I work with a great group of guys too. And... I gotta say for y'all, the audience, y'all been a great group to be with and hang out with too. It's been a few months since I put up any videos and it's been, it's been weighing on me. Uh, I got to thinking and I have been contacted by some individuals out there wanting me to custom build them some long rifles and I have the time and ability to make that happen for some of y'all. Just uh, shoot me an email, blackbarrelcustoms at gmail, and we can work on things from there. Uh, I noticed the other night, I was scrolling through my YouTube creator app thingy, and it said I got over 200 subscribers now, and I just want to say thanks guys, it really means a lot. And I really didn't want it to fall on deaf ears either. I wanted to... Uh, kind of do something special and in the back of my mind I kind of had something going on for y'all and the truth is my my gun my air gun collection wall it just keeps growing and I'm kind of running out of room on it and I finally come to the decision you know I'm gonna let a few of them go I'm gonna put them on my eBay store along with all the other parts that I, that I supply for you guys and these are both my number ones. These are these are custom builds that I've made. They're both number ones of each variant. And I'm going to let them go to you guys. And it really means a lot to me, you know, being here with y'all, sharing these videos. Great group of people that are out there. And I just enjoy reading a lot of the comments from you guys. I want to keep it going. And I'm just not going to be able to keep it going if... My gun wall keeps filling up. <laughs> so, with all that out of the way, I got two guns that I'm going to let go first. And if you watch past videos, you'll be familiar with them. And if not, just stick around and we're going to dive into them one by one right now. So, let's go check them out. So to start off with, we'll go with the 1999 Bullseye Series long rifle build that I had created in the past. And I have installed a pentiscope on it, and it's the 3 x 9 40 It's a really good rifle. As it sits, I have an aluminum shot tube for the run down to the length, and there is a small air gap in it unlike the carbon fiber tubing but that gives the user the ability to use larger size diameter BBs for greater velocity as it stands where I'm going to show you on the crony it likes it right in the 300s if you go with a larger diameter BB there's no reason you can push 325 between 325 340 somewhere in there the largest gain that I've seen with this is 312, I believe. I've kept the original stocks, and it has, for the, for the barrel extension, it has a thicker walled aluminum casing. The lower tube, it's pop riveted in. The, the stocks, I've decided to keep them original. I put gold vinyl custom accents on it. 
it has for the internal mods I've got a big bore air tube I'm pretty sure it is a mean streak brass air tube I'm not sure if I have a cobalt spring in it I couldn't tell you that have a trigger delete and I do have a top hatter in here well I may or may not have a top hatter in here who knows but whenever this goes up on eBay auctions I'm gonna make up for all that I'm gonna throw in a little included accessory bundle so you can make it however you decide on the internal mods I got this little rifle beard on here for the windy for the little breezy days overall it's a fun rifle I really like it since it's the 1999 series it's got the fiber optic tip on it it's really nice and that about sums it up for the old bullseye here it's been a hoot to shoot I got a birdhouse about 100 feet out again and let me turn the camera and see if we can get on it I don't have zoom on the forward face But yeah, we're out there. Let's see if we can hit the sideway on one. And there's that. Now for this, it zoomed out on the three. I don't know if you can make that out or not. Minimal. Minimal. So let's run some numbers on it. And let's see where she's sitting at, like I told you guys. And that's going to sum it up for the bullseye build. Now we'll move on to the second gun. So that's right. I'm gonna let go of the whole fireball red rider. This uh this really did open up a lot of doors for me as far as you know your own unique custom build. This is the first rifle where I really incorporated dimensionalizing the rear gun stocks. Once I'd done this one and it shaped out so well, I really took and brought it into my own way of doing things as far as offering y'all some. And this is the first rifle BB gun that I had gun blued. I really, really had a lot of fun with the vinyl accents, the staining, the, the shellac finish on it really shines through on the gloss. The internal mods on it, I have a carbon fiber shot tube, I have a top hatter, and it has the old blue hair steel air tube in it. I cannot recall if it has a wiper seal in it or not, one of my felt ones that I used to offer. I haven't made any in a long while. It has the trigger delete and the bullseye does as well. There's no ratchet sound. And it shoots rather well. Like I said, you know, it holds in the 400 feet per second range. And I'll take it over to the chronograph. And I got a little rifle beard on it too. It holds really good on the 100 foot distance shots as well. So let's go check out that chronograph number real quick. 
All right, so here's shot number one. Got a real hard time seeing that BB today for some reason. It really does like to thump them out there. And there you have it, guys. That about wraps it up for this episode. I just wanted to bring y'all into light on things, show you what I was going to offer up on eBay auctions for everybody to get in on if they felt like it. I'm still doing the gun stock work. Got the Red Rider 1999. Got the Sabres for the 105 styles. Got the 25s. Got a front stop going for my next long rifle build for somebody. And I've also been having a lot of fun with those pushing daisies at many episodes that I've been putting out. The thing is, I've got more than just daisies that I can bring out, you know. And I'm going to incorporate a couple new variety episodes in. You know, we can have some head-to-head -head matches on some other name brand air rifles that I've got along the way. So until next time, guys, thanks for having me. I'll see you next time. Later.